let's talk about feet. You know what? It'll be easier if I just show you. The foot, somehow we treat it differently than the rest of the body. Use it or lose it. Developing strength is going to help you be able to control and move the body. If I wrapped up a certain piece of my body every day, all day long, and didn't use it and supported it, I would get weaker in that area and actually probably have problems elsewhere. Yeah, interesting. We bundle up our feet. And we also do some interesting things is what I wanna show you here. Like, if I take my big toe and I pull it wide and I grab the ground and I create this arch, I'll be able to control this position of my knee and everything in here, great power in my hip. But if I pick it up and pull it inward and actually raise it even, but you not even raise it, all of a sudden, I'll lose control of this. Not good. Why would I do that? Because a lot of shoes are that way. Let's talk about the history of shoes. It starts right here with riding animals and stirrups. You have a heel here to capture that, and we've got something to jab the animal with to en encourage it to run. And so this is the history of where a lot of shoes came from. So as they started developing, and then through the 18 and 1900s, we had dress shoes. Same stuff, no stirrup, but we've got a raised heel. I mean, I could have got ones that have a super pointy heel, but still, even this one, we have the same thing. And now we start having back problems, knee problems, all this sort of stuff, and none of these are designed really for movement. But then, in the 60s, we started designing shoes for movement. Running shoes, the great running craze hit. We've got a swoosh here, and there's a reason behind this. Because Nike introduced running shoes, but continued this raised heel concept and also started doing a raised toe. Raised toe? Why did they do that? I'll tell you why. They started having people have injuries. What are we going to do? How are we going to fix this from happening? And they went to someone, a podiatrist, and he said, well, everybody's been walking around with those heels and they've got a shortened gastroc, doesn't function as well, and it needs to be stretched out and strengthened. So they decided to make a raised heel instead to accommodate it because that's what people had. The person that suggested it says that's probably one of the biggest regrets of their life. Now, why the raised toe? Well, with the raised heel, it actually opens you to have an overstride with your gait for walking and running, which by the way, check out our content around an open scissor and the effects all through the body, particularly on back issues. An arch support built in orthotics, the entire industry. We have basically all these band-aids starting to go on there because we're setting the foot up not to function correctly, to have issues through the whole body. So do me a favor, take your shoes, flip them over upside down and put your foot on there and see how it matches up. And you'll see it doesn't work. In fact, this is even worse because this is the outside of the shoal, not the inside. So go ahead and pull the insole out and stand on it. Wow, we've got some big problems. People will think, oh, it's because you're not buying the right shoe to fit. In fact, you've been wearing these shoes your whole life and it has deformed your foot. If you start using your foot to be able to strengthen it, to be able to control the foot and ankle complex, it's going to change the structure of your foot. It's gonna have an impact on reduction of back problems, hip problems, knee problems, all those sorts of things. All I want you to do is use your foot and ankle complex like you use every other part of your body. That's it. This is no, uh, no big reach. Now, how can we do that? Well, if you can't go barefoot, there is a reason for shoes. They protect you from the environment, cuts and abrasions and heat. So, what do we have? You see, I'm wearing barefoot. Now, I'd like to see another one here. So, what you can do, said is pull the sole out, put your foot on it and check it. What you want is a foot with a nice wide toe box. This will allow the foot to splay, particularly if you're doing any training and that's the opportune time. We wanna have that flat, but we also wanna have a nice ability to move and flex so that we're creating protection from the base environment, cuts and abrasions and things like that, 
but allowing the foot to operate the way that it should, to be able to be used, strengthened. And that, my friends, is going to change your game because it has a, a global impact on the entire body.